right, so this is my review for 10 Cloverfield Lane. Uh, came out in 2016. Earlier this year, I'd been waiting for a while to be able to rent this or, you know, get a good quality version of this to watch. I thought it looked really interesting when I saw the trailer. Uh, I'd never seen the first um, Cloverfield movie, but it doesn't really matter. This isn't very, very closely connected to that one. So, which is good. I heard that the first one's kind of so-so. I heard that one's not very, not very good. I think this actually started out as its own story, its own script. And then once J.J. Uh, Abrams got involved with it, they kind of, you know, tried to connect it with the Cloverfield franchise a little bit. So, this is uh, directed by Dan Trachtenberg. I thought that he had something more noticeable coming up uh, watching this that he is a director of something a little more prominent. I don't know why I felt like his name sounded familiar but looking at his IMDB profile he doesn't really have much else for directing work. I did notice uh, as the credits were going at the beginning that uh, Damien Chazelle was listed as one of the writers of the screenplay uh, which is a good sign because he wrote and directed Whiplash from the other year which is amazing. The movie's awesome. So it's cool to see that he had a part in the screenplay. The movie is a um, very, uh, I don't know what you call it, basic, but like the epitome of a mystery thriller. So, especially with those types of movies, I don't like to give too many spoilers, and it's pretty easy to spoil this one, so I'll try to, you know, stay as vague as possible. But the story revolves around a, a woman named Michelle, played by uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. You might recognize from... Um, Scott Pilgrim or Death Proof. I just rewatched that the other day. She's the one wearing the uh, cheerleader outfit in that movie, the Quentin Tarantino movie. But anyways, so she's starts out. She just had like a breakup with her boyfriend or fiance. It's never really explicitly stated. And she's driving. Um, while she's driving, she gets in a car accident. Wakes up, and she's chained in a room, and realize that the person that chained her up there is uh, Howard, played by John Goodman, and then he tells her that you know nobody's coming to find her because the world's been attacked. There's been either some sort of nuclear attack or maybe something worse, they don't really know, but he found her um, after that car accident and brought her to the, his bunker, and so like, he saved her life. And with them in the bunk a bunker is a guy named Emmett, played by uh, John Gallagher Jr. So it's the three of them, and the whole movie and the plot is based around the whole concept of whether, you know, Michelle should or does believe Howard and what he's been telling them. So he says that there's some sort of attack, uh, he, br he brought her to the bunker, and they, they can't go outside. And so... As the movie progresses, there's multiple points where you believe what Howard's saying, uh, a couple instances where maybe he's not telling the truth, and it's extremely, extremely well written. It does a very good job of, um, I don't know how I say it, it's not, I thought like at the beginning, well, maybe it's going to be pretty apparent if John Goodman's character is lying or what's going on that maybe uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character is being fooled in a certain way but it's it's written so well that you go with the story the whole time you're never thinking oh this is dumb why are they doing that and it's really it's kinda hard to talk about because to get into like the final scenes the final act of the movie would be just you know super spoilery so I don't want to do that but uh, all the acting is really good um, the three main characters John Goodman's great as this kind of unhinged doomsday prepper but is he actually being nice is he just like really practical or is he maybe kind of uh, a little a couple screws loose in the head you don't really know the whole time he does that really well uh, Mary Liz's one says you're good as the main protagonist here, that's, you know, it's her story, we're trying to follow along with her, and 
if she's believing what he, she's being told or not and stuff. And she's like a strong, she's a pretty strong character too, so that's good. And then John Gallagher's uh, good as a little bit of comic relief, and he's kind of a companion for Michelle, Emmett and Michelle, to kind of get along together. So they're all really good, just the three main actors. Like I said, it's really well written. Um, it's very suspenseful and mysterious throughout. Lots of good twists and turns. I think they all executed extremely well. So, a couple movies that I just kind of like thought of when I was watching the movie. Right away, you kind of get like a um, Silence of the Lambs or um, I don't know, like Misery, where somebody's you know held against their will. But then maybe, but then there's also like these added twists of like a movie from uh, Blast from the Past. I don't think it's very popular, but I always like that movie about like the uh, scare from the communists and nuclear attack. So it's got all these kind of uh, combined genres in here too, which is interesting. There's a couple of um, I saw like uh, some Die Hard references in there, just in some of the scenes. Not nothing really plot wise, but anyways. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I wish you could talk about it more without spoiling it, but I can't. Um, it's really good. I would definitely recommend watching it. I'm giving it a 4 out of a 5, so it's a pretty high recommendation. It's really fun. It's entertaining, uh, mysterious throughout. And I think I, I could see if people had problems with the ending a little bit, but I didn't. I, I was able to go with it. Um, I think it's a pretty interesting way to finish this movie with the way that it did. So I would definitely recommend uh, watching it if you're looking for more of a sci-fi, you know, mystery thriller with a, uh, you know, small cast. It's just three people doing a, a really good job acting. Um, John Goodman's really good too. It's interesting to see him play this role. So, so yeah, uh, four to five. All right.